Hey guys, my name is Austin. You're watching Fish and Fever. It is November 17th. It's a Sunday. It is 9.17 in the morning. I am sick as a dog, which is why I did not come out here when it was 30 degrees this morning. I've already noticed that the bait is deeper than it was last week. And last week it was deeper than it was the week before. So we're looking at water temperatures 57. So it's gotten below 60 now. So I, I think these fish are gonna be possibly deeper, but we'll just have to figure it out. I've got the gill net set up so I can get some bait. And then we're gonna go track down some catfish. Testing out a new microphone that I got. Uh, been wanting it for a while. It's normally between 200, 200 and $300 but there's a rewards program at the place that I work and I ended up, long story short, I got it for like $3.50, so I felt like I could swing that. It just sucks that I'm sick the first time I'm testing it, so y'all are gonna be listening to me sniffle and cough and whatnot all day probably. All right, let's go check this gill net. All right guys, I pulled in the gill net for the first time this morning and we ended up getting, I think five really good, really good gizzard shed. I'm gonna drop it one more time. All the fish, like I thought they would be, <coughs> came on the deeper side of things. So let's see if we can get more bait, I guess. I know one thing, it's warmer out here than I thought it was gonna be. I kind of put more layers on with being sick. I thought I'd be cold natured out here, but it seems to be the opposite. I'm, I might end up taking this hoodie off. All right, we'll pull in the gill net for the second time. We dropped it extra deep this time. Ain't no telling what's gonna be in it. Just hopefully some more shed. I like sharing the bait catching experience with y'all. It's all part of the whole deal. And when I sit down to watch a fishing video, that's the kind of stuff I appreciate. So what's working, what doesn't work. Here's one. I know most of the country isn't allowed to use a gill net, but it's not what you can use, it's whether or not you can find them. Definitely less this go around. I'm going to catch some more, but I won't bore you with that. I'll talk to y'all when uh, we start looking for some catfish. All right, guys, I'm set up on a ledge where I can hit some the ledge and some deep water. I marked a couple fish. We'll just have to see. I got to retie some of these rigs. I might even put a couple Carolina rigs on. No weight, no rattle, no nothing. See what happens. Got an outgoing current, outgoing tide. I don't know when it's supposed to flip, but I don't want to waste it. There we go. Did he come off? He might have come off. Yeah, there ain't a... I don't believe there's a fish on here. He took my bait. Well, I was fixing to uh, move spots anyhow. What the heck? Checking, checking, one, two, three. All right, so the tide has flipped, which is good for y'all. That means the sun's not in the camera. Uh, I typically prefer an outgoing tide. This is an incoming tide, which means that first spot we fished is gonna be the only outgoing tide that we fished today, because I won't be here after it flips again. I don't, I don't anticipate anyways. But what's different about this spot is it's not really, there's a bit of a ledge, there's kind of a hump too. It's not very profound, but there's structure. There's a lot of timber and different things, rocks that are beneath the boat and behind the boat. And uh, one another good thing is uh, the water temperatures are about a degree higher out here on the main river than they are back where I was getting bait. So 
Uh, but if I don't get anything here, um, or very little, then we'll probably start looking shallow. Just, they gotta be somewhere, right? And that one bite that we got at that first spot, that was a good bite, but he never had the hook. So I don't anticipate it being a very big fish. We gotta keep trying. All right, I am not loving this spot. We got that first nibble and that was it. I'm kind of conflicted because I'm running out of time. We can either try more ledges or we can go shallow and drag baits. And you might be thinking, well, why don't you do both, Austin? Because to efficiently drag an area, it takes a considerable amount of time. So if I'm gonna do that, I should probably start now. What the heck? We haven't caught anything anyways. What are we gonna do? Continue to not catch something? Probably. I knew that was gonna happen. Well, it's shallow getting in here, but the water temp is over 60 degrees in here, which is three degrees higher than on the main river. So we might have, we might have made the right decision. I'm not even gonna take the time to scan around. I'm just gonna start dragging baits in the interest of time. It's gonna take me a minute to get set up though. All right, we got six rods out. Four of them have planer boards. The two in the middle, one is further back and one is closer to the boat. That's usually my normal setup because uh, any more planter boards than four on this little boat, it can get kind of crazy. Especially if you got wind or you're getting hung up a lot. But I'm seeing a lot of activity in here. It's a lot more than uh, what was on the main river. Middle rod, middle rod. Woo, look at that. Oh, he come off. How in the world did you come off? What in the world? Hook is sharp. Just had the bait and not the hook. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, come on, don't tell me that. Man, that was a good, good bite too. Whoa, Nelly. Y'all think this fish is actually gonna stay on? I can't turn the clicker off on this reel. It's either loud or louder. One of them reels from Timu. I think it's a monster monster, but it might be, might be a little bit bigger than I think. He's just feisty. He's just feisty. Ah! <laughs> Got out of the net. Almost messed up there.
Well, we did not get skunked. So at least we can say that. <sighs> I'd like one bigger though. All right, so Dragon Baits produced one fish, and that took up a ton of my time. Got spider webs all over the place. So I'm gonna fish one, maybe two more spots, uh, just anchor fishing, like we did first thing this morning, where we got probably probably the best takedown. A couple of those fish that we were dragging took it down real good, but that bait's moving, so it, it's kind of deceptive. Current's pretty strong right here. But if I get this fish in, it's going to be nice to get a multi fish day. He's just a little guy. That shows you how strong this current is. He's just a little fella. I had just about as much weight on the rod as I do fish. He'd been pecking at it for a while. There you go. release of the year sorry <laughs> he's a young buck he'll recover both them fish came on the same rod <laughs> all right guys uh, it was a slow day but I mainly just wanted to test out this new mic that I got also the new battery that I Dustin and I won when we won one of the uh, live fishing league tournaments. I've been running it all day. It's been powering the fish finder and everything has been working great. So that's good too. I'm sick as a dog and I figured why not be sick on the river if you're going to be sick anyways. The fish were just a bonus. I don't always catch the most fish or the biggest fish, but every once in a while you just never know what's going to happen. Either way, I do appreciate y'all watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It means a lot. All right, guys, y'all take care. Hope you catch something.